डॉक्टर आशुतोष तिवारी मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर बी बी आर आई ग्रुप वी हैव हेड क्वार्टर इन स्वीडन एंड स्टार्टेड आवर इंडियन ऑफिस इन डेली न्यू डेली टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ कोर्स इफ वी सी द हेल्थ केयर इकोनमी सो हेल्थ केयर इकोनमी इज रिलेटिवली about uh, 20% of the or even more of the gdp of any nation so uh, of course it it all uh, going to the individuals where the patient basically uh, expends um, this money uh, of course some sort of government also support so technology can minimize the or reduce this cost and uh, that's why uh, the healthcare technology booming mo uh, booming towards the home care or self care uh, so most of the technology which we can see now in the market uh, if you see the mobile technology we have certain you know lifestyle products with our mobiles uh, and uh, if we are talking about our uh, food habits and uh, Uh, our uh, eating habits where a lot of instructions and app we have um, to remind us what to eat what to not eat uh, and how much fat and how much vitamins carbohydrates we need to eat every day even protein diets and all so um, i would say uh, technology to move towards the he home care and uh, that's why internet and the mobile devices is going to be much more stronger uh, in the healthcare industry um and this will be uh, uh, even more impacting when the internet technology move towards the 4G to 5G technology uh, in my understanding infrastructure uh, not only healthcare other uh, infrastructure uh maybe uh, turns towards more virtual side uh, where one can have a direct interaction through their mobile devices and uh, even whatever and uh, health infrastructure we have uh, somehow we begin already uh, to connect our uh, patients or um, service provider try somehow to to reach uh, at home uh, so door step services um, begin already uh, but we have to do a lot of efforts to make it uh, feasible bbri uh, the concept basically came in my mind uh, basically i am technocrat so i started uh, research in healthcare and um, i'm uh, i belongs to a rural region of india uh, alawad where uh, we have practical experience where where uh, uh, i realized that we need to do efforts uh, for our community our nation so this idea came when i was actually working several places and uh, i feel personally okay, okay we need to develop technology where uh, people can have you know uh, easy reachability to their healthcare services and doctors for example and uh, uh, in 2014 uh, i was actually chairing a conference uh, in bangkok and there was a discussion uh, how we can have you know live healthcare uh, infrastructure and uh, this was very interesting discussion and then i was pretty much involved and then continue uh, with that consortium and then uh, idea came ki okay we need to put efforts in into the translational research of medical technology so then we started uh, bbri uh, in 2014 october uh, as a company 
and uh, we started this company in Sweden and uh, I actually even switched my job and uh, I was much more focused okay, okay how we could have build the translational research which could have directly impact the society so that was the journey and uh, after that uh, we work with the uh, technocrates uh, which basically uh, more likely involve uh, how to deliver mass medicine projects health clouds concept we work with the parallel medicine we work with the parallel consultancy and virtual hospital concept which is very actually unique product which we wanted to uh, start in India uh, especially we wanted to secure healthcare for the last man of uh, India uh, doesn't matter guy is poor doesn't matter uh, guy has um, you know very uh, like reachability kind of like a very interior kind of location it doesn't matter uh, how the you know infrastructure can directly uh, or initially basically um, uh, far from the patient because most of the uh, starting healthcare uh, kind uh, you know we can start immediately with the with the surroundings, with the patients, even, uh, you know, whatever they have, uh, um, for example, supports. Uh, and this could be even increase the survival rates. Because sometimes we spend a lot of time to finding the place for healthcare. Uh, that's a challenge. So BBRI is going to be uh, create a zero distance uh, between the health infrastructure and patients. So that's our uh, efforts uh, with our uh, technology, virtual medicine, or virtual uh, hospital, uh, or um, M medicine. That's another area which we are working right now. Uh, and hopefully, within a couple of months, we will start our field trial too. Uh, to, to check the uh, you know the feasibility of technology uh, so that's our efforts so basically uh, what we are uh, working basically three segments which we are basically taking uh, technology uh, one segment is uh, like lifestyle products or uh, where uh, we uh, basically work with the for example diabetic management at home uh, where uh, we wanted to put, you know, efforts and uh, put technology where um, a person can get, you know, the alerts, even having a high dose of carbo in the blood sugar, or low, sometimes also low carbo contents in the blood. So in both way, we will try to give them, uh, you know, non-invasive platform where they can uh, get you know online or real time measurements of the carbohydrates uh, from the blood and uh, all these could you know uh, give uh, uh, proper diabetes management even at the individual level second area which we are more concerned uh, the cardiac diseases like cardiac alerts uh, cardiac management at home um, for example, blood pressure management, because this is another reason where, you know, one can get stress, one can get, you know, um, maybe less sleep or, uh, or uh, maybe because of the food habits or drink habits. So with all parameters, we are uh, working um, on the individual or personalized um, healthcare device management. Uh, so that's one area which we are more focused. And third area is how to, in general, provide uh, health care, uh, where it doesn't matter a person having, you know, the financial issues or distance issues uh, or um, uh, the issues of education. Because sometimes also we, uh, 
uh, you know create boundaries because of uh, language barriers you know like you have a technology in english and the user may not have you know uh, the skill of understanding so we wanted to minimize the barriers of technology and users uh, and uh, uh, since india is a very heterogeneous in term of culture in term of language in term of um, uh, you know kind of remote or, or even if you are you know rely on internet technology that's another reason like where somewhere you have very good infrastructures uh, I, uh, internet infrastructure you have very good connectivity some some places so all these barriers i can imagine like uh, now we have uh, a lot of improvements uh, and and uh, country even government you know much more concerns to provide uh, uniform infrastructure in india uh, it doesn't matter you are living in a mountain or plain areas or remote areas Uh, so bbri is uh, working uh, on more uh, um, uh, on this uh, uh, healthcare technology segments uh, mostly four uh, technology we are uh, integrating through our devices uh, or applications one is iot uh, second is uh, machine learning third is uh, artificial intelligence and fourth is advanced miniaturized tool where nanotechnology could give us a way uh, to to integrate all together and 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 give you know more more uh, light uh, or miniaturized uh, non invasive technology so all these four uh, technology we are merging uh, within uh, one frame or one uh, platform and that's the our strength uh, yeah i mean uh, the future plan is uh, of course we wanted to work more with the practical environment uh, more field study uh, we wa- wanted to uh, have uh, uh, i mean the technology we wanted to see how the real um, uh, you know like overall community how we accept our um, efforts our technology so future we want to work more with the community that's our first uh, priority which we wanted to like bring all technology to the society and see how society is giving us you know um uh, certificate okay okay acceptance yeah as acceptance at the individual level so that's our first priority and the uh, next priority of course with that learning we wanted to improve ourselves our technology and uh, with that reference uh, hopefully we will um, reach the 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 main objective which we are working with the Uh, feasibility of technology for uh, our healthcare for common man